A few years ago, we visited a special little restaurant in Airway Heights that had a huge heart. Go get it, Mama Jeannie. Try my best. <laughs> We're almost there. Here at Dibali Asian Bistro, owner Jeannie Choi works hard to make sure her customers are satisfied day in and day out. There's nothing bad on the menu, it's delicious. There's something I really like it in Spokane or the Airway Heights area. And the smells just make you hungry. Today we are back and hungry for more, eager to learn about Mama Jeannie's experiences traveling and cooking around Southeast Asia, we're preparing a special bowl of soup to sit and chat over. Hi Christine, Hola. nice to see you. Long time to see you. You still look gorgeous. As do you. I'm so excited to cook with you again. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's my owner all it's, the time. We're going to make a dish yes. with, with gooey duck, right? Yes, we're going to be having for the Washington veggie with the gooey duck soup. And we're going to be prepared for the four cup of the broth, whatever your favorite. And we're going to be have a add up for the ginger, for the little bit of tartness. That was a lot of ginger, wasn't it? I think <laughs> overcutting, I'm sorry. <laughs> we add some lemongrass, kefir lime leaves, sugar, fish sauce, and lime juice, and bring it to a boil. Food doesn't have to put on a lot of ingredients, but it must be delicious, yes. And cooking with a love, it's always the best way for you put on your heart yeah. and people feel it. We add some Washington-grown onion, carrots, mushrooms, and pre-blanched Washington gooey duck, and then let it boil for two minutes. Just have it waiting on another one minute for voila, it's done. Voila. <laughs> it's easy and <laughs> very simple. Shall yes, we? Yes, I want to try it. It's delightful. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> it's zippy. Yeah, it's tangy. I yeah, love it. It is. That's yeah. very good. So tell me about um, your experiences in the food industry in Southeast Asia. When I was ahead of traveling and working in Southeast Asia, uh -huh. I'm always been the welcoming to my friends and there's a family. Yeah. They are so welcoming. They are so loving and tender and a care heart. Uh -huh. So I want everybody coming into the Dubali store, mm -hmm. they feel like the same experience of what I did before. I want to share those kind of experience with our community. Yeah. I've been having the troubles and working at all of the Southeast Asia. Yeah. So it was kind of like a roadmap for about what I've been through and how I've been having to take care. This is kind of like showing the love to our guests yeah. and uh, our community. Sharing yes. your experiences yes. through food. Yes. Yeah. Stay tuned because later in the show, Mama Jeannie is going to show me how to make a special Washington gooey duck stir fry. Good job, oh, Chris. Thank you. I know I'm doing You're all, all the work over here. <laughs> no, you're amazing. <laughs> We're back at the Bali Asian Bistro with owner Jeannie Choi in Airway Heights. Growing up in South Korea, she grew to love cooking. And during her travels throughout Southeast Asia, she learned so many new techniques and dishes from the people she met. Today, her menu here at Dibali serves as a love letter to the many people and places she fell in love with during her travels. I'm very happy for that everybody feels like welcoming to the Dibali and that they feel like what I had been experienced at the Southeast Asia. I want everybody having to walk in into Dibali door, they feel like the same experience. I really want to share those kind of experience with our right. community. Yeah. Although we didn't travel around all of Southeast Asia like Mama Jeannie, we did get a small taste of it during our trip to Vietnam. Our experience uh, visiting Vietnam. Oh, that's wonderful. Really incredible. And w it just blew my mind how many Washington grown ingredients get yeah. exported there. Yeah, in there. Yeah. In there. They also had a grown some of them what we having. Mm -hmm. But like we having wonderful four seasons, so which is like apples and the pears and a seasonal fruits and a veggies. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get it in there. Yeah. 
So it's really, we appreciate it. Washington State had grown those kind of veggies and fruits. So a lot of people are having the same experience of what we in here though. Today, Mama Jeannie and I are going to make another dish with gooey duck. A gooey duck is a kind of a large clam that grows in the waters of Washington State. Washington exports gooey duck to Southeast Asia, where people use it in their dishes as a delicacy and special treat. This is the strangest looking thing I've it's, ever seen. It, it's called a gooey duck and uh, <laughs> it's a very expensive uh, ingredient. It's okay. uh, Southeast Asia and all the Asian reason. I'm gonna be sure the how to, we're gonna be how to prefer to clean. Okay. So this one is you can open very easily mm -hmm. like that way. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna be having to clean this out and and also you can have a take so off the skin. The outer yes, layer and uh, we're gonna be having to clean this area. So you're gonna be had to cut like this way, mm -hmm. and we're, we're gonna be had to blend the hot water 15 to the 20 second. Oh. Okay. Then it's gonna be lock the juice and the uh, uh, tender meat was okay. inside. And now you're gonna be had to cut as like this small pieces, oh. and your desire. So you can able to cook right away. It's easy to clean, so yeah. don't be afraid. It's everybody can. That was able to easy. Do. I mean, it is. You it did is. it, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so ugly, <laughs> but delicious, right? It is very juicy and it is very tender and the sweet flavor. Yeah. I guarantee you will like it. What are we that. doing today? So we're going to be having to make for about the stir fry. Okay. Um, but we're going to be using for the, all the Washington grown veggie with the gooey duck stir fry. It's yeah. easy. We start by adding some chopped green onions, walla walla sweet onions, yakima carrots, broccoli, and stir fry sauce. Next comes the soft veggies, some mushrooms, peas, and zucchinis, red bell peppers, and bean sprouts. Last comes our Washington-grown gooey duck. And then how long does this? We're well, only going to be cooking 30 to 30 seconds yeah, to not one very minute. Long, right? Yes, because those uh, veggie is very tender. And also we already been blanched about the gooey duck. Yeah. So if you're going to be cooking longer than a one minute or two minutes, usually the Meat was tough. Yes, good job, oh, Chris. Thank you. I know I'm doing you're all, all the work over here. <laughs> no, you're amazing. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, with gooey duck. I mean, that was <laughs> super simple. Not bad. Mm -mm. That's really good. A little mm. bit of, you can taste the ocean in the gooey duck. It is good. You know? Yeah, it is good. But the it vegetables is very are nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. It is very juicy and tender too. Yeah, you're right. That's a worst season. Happy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Mama so Jeannie. glad. <laughs> to get the recipe for Dabali Asian Bistro's gooey duck stir fry, visit wagrown.com.